Before starting this video, let us understand what an automobile is. An automobile is a self-propelled vehicle which contains the power source for its propulsion and is used for carrying passengers and goods on the ground. Car, bus, trucks are examples of automobile. An automobile is made up of mainly two units, chassis and body. In this video, at many places, I will be using word vehicle, automobile, automotive vehicle. All words can be considered as same when we are talking in context of automobile engineering. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Krishna Vatham. I am a mechanical engineer by profession. I have plus 10 years of working experience in very well-known OEMs like Tata Motors and V Commercial Vehicles. My area of working has been research and development domain in past 10 years. In this video, we will be discussing layout of a vehicle, construction of a vehicle, introduction of automobile systems, main functions or objectives of automobile systems. We will be covering detailed construction, types, working and functions of every automobile system in separate upcoming videos. Layout of a vehicle. Figure shows the complete layout of a vehicle with all main aggregates. The layout consists of engine located at the front of the vehicle, followed by clutch, gearbox, propeller shaft, universal joint, front and rear axles, etc. An automobile is manufactured by putting large number of components together in forms of systems and subsystems. For example, a single car may have around 28,000 to 30,000 parts if you count every nut, bolt, screw and bearing, etc. All systems and components of an automobile can be grouped as follows. The basic structure, the power plant, the transmission system, the auxiliaries, the controls, the superstructure, tools and miscellaneous components. Introduction to automobile systems. All systems found in automobile are mapped against the groups discussed during the prior topic. Ahead in this video, we will be getting brief understanding over the various automobile constructing groups and their systems. The basic structure. Basic structure is a unit on which remaining units are built to make the complete automobile. Basic structure is made of following systems and components. Frame. Frame is made up of side members and cross members generally. It provides foundation for engine and body of the vehicle. Suspension system made up of springs, shock absorbers and other related components. Main function of suspension system is to maintain the vehicle stability and provide the support to vehicle weight. Axles. These are the shafts on which the road wheels are mounted. Generally, there are mainly two axles in a vehicle, front axle and the rear axle. Commercial vehicles may have larger number of axles. Wheels. Wheels are used to take the load of vehicle and also provide tractive force to move the vehicle. Wheels are also used for retardation and stopping of the vehicle. Power plant. Power plant is formed on grouping of following six systems. Engine. It is also called heart of vehicle which provides the power to drive the automobile. Power is produced by burning mixture of air and fuel inside the cylinders. Engines commonly used in automobiles are petrol engine, diesel engine, gas or CNG engine. Engine cooling system. The cooling system serves mainly three important functions. First, it removes excess heat from the engine. Second, it maintains the engine operating temperature where it works most efficiently. And finally, it brings the engine up to the right operating temperature as quickly as possible. Engine lubrication system. The job of the lubrication system is to distribute oil to the moving part to reduce friction between the surfaces which rub against each other. Engine exhaust system. Vehicles exhaust system has four main functions which are to control noise, to carry away gases, to improve engine performance and improve fuel consumption. The function of fuel system is to store and supply fuel to cylinder chamber where it can be mixed with air, vaporized and burned to produce energy. Air intake system. The air intake system takes its function as guider to let air get into the engine. A good air intake system allows clean and continuous airflow in the engine. Therefore, engine can produce more power and prolong life. Transmission system. Transmission system is used to carry power from engine to drive wheels. Parts of transmission are clutch which performs work of engagement and disengagement between the engine and gearbox on the need basis. The gearbox. Main purpose of gearbox is to provide necessary variation to torque applied by the engine to wheels. This is achieved by changing gearing ratio between engine output shaft and drive shaft. Propeller shaft. 
it connects gearbox and differential differential function of differential is to split the power received from propeller shaft to rear axle shaft it allows rear wheels to be driven at different speeds when the vehicle takes a turn or it falls into a ditch universal joint it's a joint or coupling connecting rigid rods whose axes are inclined to each other and commonly used in shafts that transmit rotary motion bevel pinion and crown wheel these are used to turn the drive around the 90 degrees also provide permanent reduction in speed received from the engine the auxiliaries auxiliaries refers to the electrical equipments which is common for all type of vehicles the engine provides power to move the vehicle however electricity powers most of the devices on the vehicle auxiliaries are classified as follows electrical supply system there are two sources of electrical supply in a vehicle which are battery and alternator battery provides electrical supply when the vehicle engine is off when the engine is starts alternator starts charging battery and also delivers required electrical energy to other electrical components starting motor requires electrical energy to crank engine ignition system requires electrical energy to deliver spark to engine cylinders other systems other systems include lighting systems comfort and safety systems security systems infotainment systems engine and vehicle management systems the controls the control consists of steering system the steering system enables drivers to turn the front wheel of the vehicle in left or right direction this changes direction of the vehicle travel the steering starts at the steering wheel which is located in front of driver seat types of steering systems are commonly found in vehicles are manual steering and power steering brakes purposes of brake systems are to stop the vehicle within the smallest possible distance to deaccelerate the vehicle this is achieved by converting kinetic energy of vehicle into heat energy thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate your patience for staying with us till end of this video hope you may have liked this video please like subscribe and leave comment below in case if you have any question or any feedback we will see you in next video